Hello everyone and welcome to another Let's Play Terraria video. This is Nick with CoopCritics.com and thanks for joining me today. So I have a couple of things I want to accomplish today. The number one being I found out that I have both of these items, a balloon and a quick blizzard in a bottle. And I found out that I can combine those if I have the Tinkerer's workbench. And I have the Tinkerer up here. Where is he? Here he is. Zahn. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Oh, I can't. Uh, 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 there we go. Tinkerer's workbench. Is, okay, it's 10 gold. I think I've just saved 10 gold exactly in my piggy bank I have. So we'll take that, put it down here, and we'll go get that Tinkerer's workbench and go ahead and combine these items. Because I'm excited to have a little more space in my inventory, or in my, uh, I guess, accessories slot, whatever you would call these, gear, class mods, Borderlands terms. I'm going to place that workbench down here with all my other workbenches. Got oh no! I already have a Tinkerer's workbench. Oh my gosh! It's been a couple of days since I've played, and I completely forgot that I've already bought a Tinkerer's workbench. Now I have two Tinkerer's workbenches. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> I am the worst Let's player ever. Let's see if I can even can I sell this back? He'll, ta he'll take it back for two gold. Jeez, is it even worth it? Should I just keep it and give it to a, a friend or something? I guess I'll sell it. Now, ten gold's not that hard to come by. It, it doesn't take me long to, to get gold. But that is... I, I really should have walked or took a, a stroll around my house before I started this, I guess. So anyway, alright, we're down here now. I want to combine these items. How do I do this? Wait, here we go. Cloud in a balloon, blizzard in a balloon. I have, I have both of these. Oh, they have to, I guess they have to be in my inventory and not in my gear slots. So let's combine these. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna give me the functionality of both of them. Four, plus four movement, plus four percent movement speed, plus one defense, increased jump height, and allows a double jump. So I'll get all of that with only one gear slot. So this will be so much better because I've just now started to get enough gear that I'm, I'm having to kind of swap out things and figure out what's more important to me. There we go, blizzard in a balloon. Done. Suspicious looking eye. I could do that. I would have to craft it at a demon altar though. Maybe we'll do that this this video. Um, I have a, vid a highlight from a while back where me and two other guys who were way more powerful than I am <coughs> joined my game and we fought the eye of Cthulhu or however you pronounce that Thulu. Cthulhu 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 and we demolished it very very fast but I had very little to do with that it was mostly them so I would like to fight it again on my own and I have plenty of lenses so I may go down into the corruption and find a demon altar and craft a few of those suspicious looking eyes. Uh, actually, I think I have one in my inventory, so we may do that anyway and not even have to go to the corruption. Okay, I'm getting ahead of, I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, there we go. It automatically put my balloon in there, so now I have an extra slot. As you can see, I found some ice skates uh, the other day. Warding Angel. I don't know if the ice skates are the best thing, but I, I replaced the ice skates with my claws just because now that I have wings I don't know that the claws are, are really necessary um, let me see where they are yeah yeah I had a couple of these shackles but they weren't really uh, doing it for me wild climbing claws the ice skates are not as good as that uh, is rarity terms I guess but I, I fall through ice all the time, and it really drives me crazy. And so, especially being right next to a snow biome, so I feel, I feel like the ice skates are going to help me more. Okay, so let's, where is it? Let's go 
get this suspicious looking eye. Where did we get it? It's not in there. Oh, I also have a brain. I got that during a blood moon the other day, and so now I can summon a pet zombie. Uh, I was kind of bummed out because he doesn't really fight for me. He just kind of follows me around. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to keep my wisp for now because it's, it's way better. Let me go ahead and get him out since it, it will be nighttime when we summon that. Yeah, there we go. Suspicious looking eye. I'm going to go ahead and clear out some of my inventory just in case he drops. Because I think he does drop a decent amount of demonite. Um, there. Oh, I don't have my potions there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There are my potions. Let's see. Should I... That's a regeneration potion. Gills potion. Breathe, breathe water instead of air. So I have to be underwater? That's weird. That's a weird potion. I don't think I even have that potion anywhere. Get these walls out of there. They're not supposed to be in there. Let's put shine potion. Don't need that right now, but it's good to have those. Regeneration. Maybe I'll leave that in there just in case I get into some trouble here. And I think I'm going to take one iron skin potion to use as well. Let's see. Let me just go ahead and move some of this ore in here. Just trying to clear out some space, really. Do I have rope? Yes. I have so much rope. I've never done anything with the rope. I'm not actually even sure what's worth making out of the rope. So I'm going to go ahead, get that ready, put these stars with those. I can make more mana in a second. Okay, I think that's plenty. As you can see, I've built uh, <laughs> I built some dirt walls just because there was a blood moon, and I was really tired of them opening up my doors and bothering me while I was trying to work. Get some work done. Get rid of that so I can make sure I can move around freely. I guess I'm going to summon him just in this area. I don't want to have to run a long way to get to him, but I also don't want him to be too close to my NPCs. Look at all the demon eyes everywhere. There we go. Alright, let's take this. And here we go. It's my first time fighting him by myself. It's not as big as I remember. I'm not, I don't look like I'm doing a whole lot of damage to him, though. Oh, goodness. Come on now. Man, that iron... Iron Skin Potion is doing some work there. He's hitting me a lot, and I'm only down not even two full hearts yet. Where'd you go? Taking about almost a quarter of his life. Let me try this weapon, see if it's any better. Oh, no, no, no. Stay away. Yeah, he's not doing much damage to me. I can take this. I'm not doing much damage to him either, but we'll just see. As long as my iron skin potion lasts, we should be fine. We got this. We got this. And I can make a ton of these, so any, I think I pretty much have demonite whenever I want it. I have so many lenses in my... Um, oh, this is when he changes. I think last time we beat him so fast he didn't even have a chance to transform. Oh gosh, he's doing more damage to me now.
Almost done. My Mermasa. I love this sword, but it's not doing a ton of damage to him. Come on. Almost there. Like one more hit and he'll be dead. Come on. There we go. Look at all the demonite ore. That wasn't so bad. We got iron iron skin potion to spare. I should have uh, I should have went ahead and made some more of these. Look at all the goldfish up here. Should have gone ahead and made some more. I may have could have fought two of those guys with this iron skin potion. Let me put some of this stuff back real quick. Ooh, he dropped a couple of gold coins there. Let's see, I got two corrupt seeds, 56 demonite ore. That's pretty good. Not a bad day's work. I may make a, a demonite axe here pretty soon. I really get tired of how long it takes me to cut down trees. Let me go see what all. What I see, I got four more pieces of demonite. I've got shadow scale. Is that an even amount of demonite? Yeah. Sometimes it takes, you have to have both of these to make stuff. Let me see what that allows me to do. I've already got the pickaxe. I made a demonite sword, but I don't use it because I, right after I made it, I found this Mermasa and it's been way better. I've already got a bow. Got a sword. Phase blades. I can make phase blades now. Are those better than my Mermasa? Yeah, a little bit. A couple more damage. How do I make these? Meteorite and sapphire. I have meteorite. got some meteorite the other day. I have enough. I'm going to make a phase blade. Uh, oh, it might help if I grabbed. Let's just see what color do I want it to be. I've got all of these. It could be amethyst, so it could be purple, yellow, green, red. Hmm. I think I want it to be. Oh, let's take both of these because I can't decide. Ooh, the yellow. Oh, the yellow looks so cool. They're all the sa exact same, right? Yeah, I think they are. I want the yellow. Definitely gonna do the yellow. Done. Done and done. make a staff too. I haven't made a staff yet. And there's so many things I can craft now that I haven't really been paying attention to. And now that I have the Tinkerer's workbench, I bet there's a lot of things I can... 4% range damage. I bet there's a lot of things I could uh, combine that I don't know about either. Ma magic, melee speed, melee speed. I have those meteorite leggings, but I don't really do a lot of magic damage. It may be worth it. I 
cannot make anything else. Platinum, Tungsten, Tin, Necro, Meteor, Shadow Greaves. Hmm. Alright, let's go let's go try out my phase blade I made. I used up all my almost all my meteorite. Oh. It's doing it's gonna do more damage. It looks awesome, but Ah, I look, but the Marmasa is so awesome because it, it melees so fast and I can just hold down the trigger. I don't have to keep tapping it. That's why I love it, is I can just hold down the right trigger while I'm flying around. Let's see. We'll try this out and see if it's actually going to replace my Marmasa or not. Oh, that looks co so cool when I jump because of that blizzard. Blizzard in a balloon or whatever I made. Let's go to the corruption real quick. Uh, actually, let's go get rid of some of this stuff and then we'll go to the corruption. Because I need plenty of room in my inventory. The last time I went to the corruption, I, I messed up because I found several chests and just, just ran out of room so fast and I had to end up magic mirroring back because I just, it was pointless to be there. Let's empty this stuff out. The demonite in here. Uh, meteorite in here. Um, topaz. Got two lenses. Um, let's put these seeds in here. Sorry guys, you're sitting there watching me organize my inventory. This is not what I really wanna wanted you to have to do. Um, actually, I'm going to gra grab a couple more lenses, because while I'm down there, I want to make some more suspicious-looking eyes. Put the grenades in here. Go ahead and make one of these. And we'll put the rest of this ore in here. Or no, this, uh, sh all right, the shadow scales in here. What else do we have we can get rid of for now? Dirt blocks. I wish I had some vial powder I would make I would be able to make the stuff to summon the eater of worlds okay that's probably hopefully enough room <laughs> I don't know we'll find out what do I do with my lenses oh there they are say I have one dark one black lens I think if I get another one I can make sunglasses if I'm not mistaken Okay, we're off to the corruption, which I th think is this way. Oh crap! No, it's this way. Eventually, in one of the upcoming episodes, I will be making. I will be building, like finishing my castle, I guess not finishing it, but uh, turning it into a castle, and then I will be adding walls because one of the most frustrating things to me is that at night when I'm trying to do stuff inside my house, I constantly have to go up and kill all the zombies and eyes and everything in my house because the doors keep getting opened and closed, opened and closed, opened and closed. So I need to build some walls. and. Uh, since it's a castle, of course I will be building a moat on either side, so I'll have to figure all that out, but 
It'll be fun. For me, probably not for you to watch, but it'll I'll enjoy it. I'll probably fast forward a lot in that episode so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me just placing block after block and that can get old. I hope I'm going the right way. I, I really am almost positive that the corruption is over here. I know the dungeon's over here. Yeah, here we go. I keep forgetting to, that I can't hold it down. Oh, gosh. Sorry, squirrel. Collateral damage. Did I kill that worm? Alright, let's get down here. And he was flying by. can mine this stuff now. I guess now that I have a demonite uh, pickaxe or a shadow scale pickaxe or whatever they're calling it whatever its name is I can actually mine this stuff now. I can make one of my rooms in my castle real real eerie and dark and I'll use this stuff from the corruption, this purple stuff. I wonder if I can craft anything out of it. a demon altar and some other stuff over there. Let's see where I am, if it's even worth continuing down. Oh yeah, there's some stuff beneath me. I don't I don't know. Maybe I should go this way. Look at all these guys just waiting on me. Ready to devour me. When I first started playing this game, the corruption scared the bejesus out of me. And I really wish I would have gone there sooner because it's not, and it is tough, but it's not as tough as I, I kind of made it out to be in my mind. And uh, I would have gotten a lot better gear a lot faster had I gone here sooner. Now it's not as scary because I have a little bit better gear, but I, I mean, I could still easily die in here if I get overwhelmed. I may switch back to my Marmasa just because I miss being able to hold down the melee. Alright. Let's see if we can craft some of these things real quick. There we go. I got four of them out of that. Not, not bad. Death weed. What is that? He's just trapped up there. I thought there was something in the background behind him. Ooh, that's a deep hole. <laughs> All right, let's go. Where's this guy? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Come on, buddy. Demonite ore, there we go. So you can find it down here too. What are these? Oh, I need to get out of the water here. Let's see.
Oh my gosh, I suck at this. Alright, so now I can sit up here safely and check this chest. Oh, and it's empty. Great. We probably already already got to that one a few episodes back. And this one's empty. I guess I'm going to go down that hole. I wasn't really wanting to go down there. I'm gonna end, I have a feeling I'm going to end up in hell or something. I think those orbs down there that I can see, I think that like, summons a meteorite or something. Okay, we're almost back. Alright, one, two, three, Geronimo! Oh gosh, Wisp, you gotta keep up with me, I gotta see where I'm falling here. Um, noth nothing in there, doesn't look like. get to that sand area over there. Hey, is that... Okay, I think I'm going to go right through here. So I want to say that looks like one of those uh, wooden rooms, like one of those underground rooms that usually has chests in it. Right here, maybe? I can't tell, but I'm going to check it out. Let me make sure I'm even. Yeah, I'm even. Alright, so let's quickly dig through here. I say quickly. This is a good pickaxe. Well, to me it's a good pickaxe and it feels like it's taking forever. I need to upgrade all my my tools again pretty soon. My pickaxe and my axes. Let's get all this sand out of the way before I get crushed. Okay, there we go. Yes, I was right. It is a room. Maybe we'll find some good gear in here. The gold chest. What what do we got here? Hard cloud in a bottle. Okay, I've already got a cloud in a bottle, but I'll take another one. Of course we got some bombs and stuff. What's this? Oh, it's those blocks I've been collecting. Let's see if there's another chest in here. Sometimes there's two. Most of the, like I've found two in one of these rooms a lot of the times. This one looks like it's just got one though. Well, that wasn't as exciting as I was hoping. Holy crap! Okay, I could see that worm on my on my map there. Where'd you go, worm? Come on. Okay, so I wasn't even at the, the deepest one. That one goes way deeper. So I'm going to go back up and go down that one. I wonder how much... Yep, I was afraid my inventory was about to be full. Look at that. A water chest. I've never had a water chest. That's pretty cool. Hello, red slime. My goodness. This is so deep. I just have a feeling this is not going to end well. Oh, another room. Okay, we'll have to figure out some stuff to trash if there's anything good in this. Why can't I the block directly in front of me? Right there. Another cloud in a bottle. Menacing cloud in a bottle, that's a little bit better. 
4% damage. Okay, we're out of room now. Uh, what can I get rid of? What can I get rid of? Wooden walls. Definitely get rid of that. Um, get rid of wooden platforms. I can get rid of... Get rid of these bats first. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. There's a whole nest of them. Trying to figure out if there's anything below me. There's just a whole bunch of water. There's something down there. Like, the walls are blue underneath that water. I don't really need both of those cloud in a bottles. One of them was pretty decent. Oh, here we go. That was worth sticking around for. I have to find a place for it so I can use it. And I can pick something back up. I should be using these bombs to uh, to destroy some of this stuff. I don't need this mushroom. That will clear up a space. Or not, because it's picking up dirt. There we go. Come on up here. Ta da! All right, bombs. Oh gosh, another dart trap. Mother slime. I've never seen that. I just killed it with a bomb though. Yeah, that's right. I want none, mother slime. Baby slime. What is that down there? It's so bright. Oh no. Am I in the? Did I move all the way over to the dungeon? I may have come down far enough that I'm like running into the dungeon. I am. That's the dungeon. I don't think I can go into the dungeon right now. I have no I have no room in my inventory left. Let me mirror back. Clear this inventory out and then I'll head back over to the dungeon after. Okay, what can we do? Empty some of this stuff out. I got a couple more chests. water chest here. My OCD is going to get the better of me and I will have to reorganize all of these chests eventually. Um, somewhere down in this basement there will be one giant room that is nothing but chests and I'll have them organized by type of chests and what goes in them and everything eventually but that day is not today. Alright, sorry YouTubers but uh, this is where this episode is going to have to end. You'll have to tune in next time, and I'll head back down into the dungeon over there, and uh, we'll see what we find there. So if you like this video, please go ahead and click the like button and leave a comment. And if you really like this video, uh, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like it in the future. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Oh, my gosh. This looks exactly like where I just came from. Oh, man. Well, that did not go well at all.